Yeah, Neo Geo time. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to talk about the Neo Geo Pocket Color, but this is not our typical, let's say, Pocket Color handheld. No, this is the version upgraded with an IPS LCD inside. We're living in a great time, guys, that we can finally upgrade our old school systems with an IPS LCD display and get basically a new complete system to play your old school games. And with the new display, it looks amazing and I'm very hyped about it. So nevertheless, let's do a little bit of a chit chat about it and about the new Geo itself. So I am wondering here in the Wicked family, how many people do own a new Geo Pocket system? We're having the normal version, of course, that is the black and white display like the original Game Boy Classic. And we're having the color version. There is also an option for backlight of the Neo Geo Pocket. I'm not a big fan of backlights, to be honest. It's a little bit of a tiny upgrade, in my opinion. But the IPS LCD displays are just the way to go to. It doesn't even matter what kind of handheld you're owning. Because it just gives this handheld a completely new way of playing. And of course we can experience the game in full color and how it should be. What is so unique about the Neo Geo Pocket Color is this tiny little clicky joystick. I know not everybody likes it. But at the end it's just great to play fighting games. And even if you want to play Sonic Adventure it's just cool. And it gives you a completely new way of playing. So the speaker itself is very loud. I will give you a little sample. I will grab my microphone so you can hear it. How loud this thing goes. And the sound of the new Geo Pocket is just cool. Let's do a little bit of an overview of the new Geo Pocket Color. And at the bottom we're having volume control. We're having jack out. And we're having a port for charging if you, of course, use recharge batteries. We're having external port for linking two systems together, so that is possible, like with the original Game Boy Classic, for example. All right, so we're having two compartments. The left one is for the two AA batteries that this thing is using, and the right we're having a little compartment, and this battery is needed for basically holding the internal clock. All right, so the cap is already out, so as you can see. But I think this thing needs to be replaced very often. So the Neo Geo Pocket is a cartridge based system like the other Game Boy systems. But here you can see the measurements. And fun fact that this thing is a little bit between the Game Boy Classic and Color and the Game Boy Advance cartridge size. So, for back in the day, it's a very tiny cartridge. So but what I understand with this IPS display, if you buy it or upgrade it, whatever, doesn't matter. If you're having this perfect front new glass on it, it looks like it's an original system this way. And the IPS display gives us the perfect view angle, so it doesn't matter how you look at it, it looks amazing and it looks super colorful. Way better than a backlight, for example. I'm very happy we're having an IPS display and not a normal LCD. With the Neo Geo Pocket Color, you can see that we're having some extra options where we don't use a cartridge inside. I think that is pretty unique and so far I know the Game Boy didn't have it. So as you look at it, we have a calendar, world time, horoscope, alarm, settings for language for example and there are some little little extra things that you're going to get with this Neo Geo. Also why we had this little extra battery inside. So here we can choose the language, yes English please. Alright and here we have some color palettes that we can use if you want to use a normal Neo Geo Pocket game. It's a little bit similar like the Game Boy Classic and the Game Boy Color. Pretty cool. Alright so let's do a little bit of a side by side comparison with the Nintendo Game Boy. So the Nintendo did crush the competition big time back at the day. The Neo Geo Pocket Color released in around 1999. I didn't see it that often in my store here in the Netherlands. I think, I don't know if there were many, let's say European countries have this system. Because Nintendo had a big share of the market and had a lot of great games. Not even to talk about the games like Pokemon whatsoever. There was a lot of great licensed games and that was the power of the Nintendo. Neo Geo, I'm a big fan of fighting games, so the Neo Geo appeals to me big time. But nowadays, they are just great collectibles. And I think still both systems are great. 
We know how big the games are, but what are we going to get? What kind of games are on the Neo Geo Pocket? I only own three of them at the moment, because to be honest, these things are pretty damn rare and very expensive to buy. So I managed to find three of them just to show here in the video. I'm a big fighting fan, I am also a Neo Geo fan, so these games will appeal to me. But at the end, when you're playing these games, you will notice that there are a lot of, let's say, fighting games, card games, there are some RPG games, adventure games, but they're not like the super good games like the Nintendo Game Boy back in the day. But still, I like them. Let's play some games, less talking, more gameplay. So the first game I'm going to try, and that's basically the main reason why I even bought this thing, is Sonic Pocket Avenger. Man, I'm a big Sonic fan and I needed to have this other thing in my collection. Alright, let's play some games. I'm a really big D-pad fan, but this little tiny joystick plays so good, it's super responsive and it's so much fun playing this game, even an Avenger game with this tiny joystick. So the Sonic Pocket Avenger is more like a mix from, let's say, the first three Sonic games. For example, this bonus stage is for Sonic 2. The intro song from this game was for Sonic number 3. So it's a little bit of a mix of everything. And as you can see with the IPS display, this game comes to life. It's just amazing. I can really enjoy playing this for many hours. I don't know if there are people liking these games, but this is just a card game for the Neo Geo Pocket. Something pretty unique and you will find those games of course on for example a Game Boy, but these are the special Neo Geo games. I like this, it's all card fighters all based on characters that I know from Metal Slug, Capcom, you name it. Neo Geo games is just really freaking funny. This game, let's play King of Fighters R2. I'm a big King of Fighters fan, so this looks very interesting and very curious how this is going to play on this device. Yeah. Hmm, got a funny intro. Alright, let's see if I can find my guy. Let's see if he's here. I think good will open this. Let's see. Yeah, Terry Bogart is here, people. So let's play a little bit with Terry Bogart. I'm very curious if this little tiny cute character has all the moves, like with the original game. Okay, I need to get used to the joystick. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Oh, the moves are here, I'm guessing. The old moves are here. Crack shoe. Yep, it's there. Bare knuckle, or how do you call that? The flying knuckle. Of, is it? Mm, let's see, can I do that? Can I do it? Okay, so if you're interested in getting a Neo Geo Pocket Color, there are basically two ways how you can do this. The first way is 
get yourself a system and modify it yourself. But keep in mind, buying a Neo Geo Pocket Color is quite expensive. And of course, you need to buy the kit itself. So in overall, it will be a very expensive handheld to buy and not even to start about the games. But what you can do also do is buy one ready to go with an LCD inside and I already did it myself. Also, not a cheap option, but you're ready to go and ready to play. All right, so this is what you're going to get with the Neo Geo Pocket Color. I hope you really enjoyed this video and have a better idea what you're going to get. So keep in mind, when you're going to get a Neo Geo Pocket in color or a normal version, it will be very expensive and hard to find. I did buy my preset to go. I just wanted to make this review and show you and want to have this thing in my collection. It was on my wish list for a very long time. But nevertheless, I love it. I'm going to play some Sonic Pocket Avenger. I'm very happy with the game and the handheld itself. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, and I will see you in the next video.